Hello and welcome to BusyWorksBeats.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make your first pain melody for hip-hop and make beats that sound really emotional and gospel at its root. It's really simple. When you learn this chord progression, it's going to be super simple. If you ever get lost, I have the project files for free so you don't get you know confused along the way. Let's hop into FL and get to rocking. Let me make sure my little screen switched. Okay, good. My shortcuts are working. So here are the sounds we need. We need a guitar wah. Now I was testing this out on something else. Let me delete all this. We have a guitar wah. We have a full kick. Clap. Drill snare. Just a light snare. Rim. Part of the snare. And then open hi-hat. We're going to use what's called FL keys in FL Studio. And then a closed hi-hat. Nice short sound. So highlight all these sounds, hit control L to send these to the mixer. Um, I already did this because I was testing something out. So we don't have to do all that. Um, so from here, what we're going to do is load up FL keys. To do that, go to your channel rack, click here, and find FL keys from the list right there. Okay, once we have FL keys open, I would recommend going to presets and then go to dance piano. It just sounds more bitey. It has more character than just a simple starting piano. Okay, so let's start on pattern five. Now, again, I was messing with some other rhythms. Um, but let's right click, go to piano roll. And the chord progression we're going to start with is going to be um, basically a major third. If you don't know what a major third is, it's four semitones up from the root note. I'll show you what that means. So if we start here at C sharp, a major third is counting from this note. One, two, three, four. It's just four notes up all the time. That's called a major third. The difference between major and minor is that their thirds are different. So a minor third is three semitones up from the root note. So it's zero, one, two, three. That's the difference between a major and a minor chord is that third. And also their seventh values. You don't need to memorize that. Okay, so we're going to take these two notes and then thicken this chord out. So this is what it sounds like, which is fine, but I want it to sound more full and gospel. We're going to take this note, hit shift, and hit control down. Okay. We're at 140 BPM, by the way. Let's turn our metronome on. And let's just do one, two, three. Let's hit shift and just drag this up. Now your your ear will heal. Your, wow, that's a tongue twister. Your ear, we, oh my God. Your ear will hear why the next chord is incorrect. Something's like, uh, you know, it's off you don't feel right it's because we don't need to be in major we need to be in minor right here so all we're going to do is keep the top note because that's what our ear wants to hear okay but the bottom notes the supportive notes aren't matching properly so let's make this a minor third by hitting shift up and keep in mind we're only doing it on the one note not the uh, bottom note here see how that feels more proper now this piano sounds super thin, so we're going to swap it out for a better sound later. And let's give it a little more bounce. Boom. Let's have that chord come in early. Let's copy this chord, hit shift. Now, for this genre, it works in three. So it's one, two, three. Same thing with the kick drum. It's very West Coast. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. It's in threes. Funk does it. Okay, so we were taking that rule of three, basically. So it's boom, one, two, three. Let me just show you, like, how much better, like, a real piano sound, even though this isn't technically a sampled piano. Just the difference between stock piano and... So I'm going to give you this tone just so you get used to hearing what like a real piano sounds like. You're not going to have this plug in with the project files, but I'll give you the MIDI to put in FL keys. It's just hard for me to listen to that plastic piano. Now, don't get me wrong. FL keys has been used in a lot of top hip hop records, but more so for the bass notes than the chords and everything. They like they'll use it for that type of stuff, but not. Okay, so let's work off of this. Let's add our little guitar wah. Let's go to pattern six. Now, the thing is, we need to match our guitar wah with the key of the song. Right now, it's just playing a random note. so doesn't sound right. Um, so the quick way to do this is just go to the pitch knob and move it up or down 100 cents at a time. So I'm in the top left, I'm reading the values as 200 cents. One more. And that fits. 
So you're either going to pitch it down 300 cents or you're going to pitch it up 300 cents. I found as a sweet spot for adjusting that guitar wire. Okay, so now we just need drums, really simple drums because we're already done. The piano is good. So we're just going to right click the hi-hat, go to fill each two steps, add this into the playlist. I like the paint brush tool. It's just better. I'm going to delete, what are we, five, six, seven. Let's delete all these because these are just uh, old anyway. <laughs> So I like to separate my sounds. So pattern four, we're going to add the kick drum and the snare. Let's figure out where is the snare. We're going to use a clap. If you don't know how to lay out the clap, turn on your metronome. It's on the three and the seven. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so it's on the three and the seven. That's the difference between trap and other older hip hop. Let's turn this hi hat down. Sticking up the piano a little bit. I think it needs a deeper octave. Let's try taking this bottom octave and cloning it. Hit control down. To clone it, you hit shift and you left click. Let's try pulling this all the way down. It's a little dark. We need the guitar to be like. Let's pull it down even further. This might be too dark though. Might take out the guitar wide, might be too much for this track. Okay, so now let's arrange this to make it sound like it's doing a lot. And we're gonna add in our little melody notes. I like this octave the best. So what I'll do to make this more exciting is I'll take this whole thing, we're gonna hit shift in the playlist to make a copy. We're gonna click in the top left, go to make unique. This will make this a whole different pattern. Let's go back to pattern one now and take out that deep, deep bass octave by highlighting it, hit delete or control X. So it's a little bit more thinned out. Let's hit control B to latch paste, but first you want to hit control to highlight, control left click, and then control B to latch paste the drums. Just makes it easier to copy and paste. Again, you will get the project files for free. I'm trying not to make hip hop sound complicated because it's not. Now let's go back to the beginning. Let's add some kicks in here. Boom, boom, boom. It's usually the pattern. Or we could do follow the kick. I mean, follow the um, piano. If you want to be safe with it. It's probably going to use some in-between bass movement just so it's a little more bouncy. Let's add a little kick in here, so. That made it a little more dancey. Okay, now let's add our melodies in here. You can highlight this whole thing, hit control G, we'll make one big piano roll. And now you just go in and add the notes that you think sound proper. Um, let's figure out what scale we're in. Let me see. Let's drag this out. We can use, let me double check. So let's use the B flat minor scale. You don't need to memorize what that means. Just go to your chord stamp, go to minor natural, and then go to where it says A sharp, which is technically B flat in this case. So we're gonna highlight these, turn them down. I'm doing all the work for you, so you don't have to do all this. And again, the project files are for free. Just go to busyworksbeats.com slash FL studio. Okay, so I'm just gonna clone this across the octaves. So as long as you notes, as long as you use the notes within this range, you will be in key. Uh, let me see, it looks like I copied two octaves here. All right, so the reason I do this is because I don't like scale highlighting because it changes the way I perceive MIDI notes and I don't want that. Okay, so now let's add top line melody. So as long as the melody fits within this range of notes, we should be good to go. I'm gonna do it by ear, but um, you could use that as a, also, let's try going. 
you know, keeping it high octave notes for the top line. Let's get this. Now more advanced piano stuff is going to have more. I don't have my MIDI controller, so I'm clicking in notes. So they would have like tickle notes. I'll show you how to make this sound more gospel-y. I just don't want to sit here for too long because this is all based on your ear and what you hear anyhow. So a couple gospel techniques is to add a note below the note and gonna slide up to it. So bring like that. You can hit Alt to left click and drag the top note. So it goes da dam bring da dam bring ding. It's a very gospely R and B sound. Let's do it for both G sharp to. That might be overkill. Yes, yeah, overkill. Okay, so don't overdo it because it could take away from the vibe as we just witnessed. See how it's just kind of empty without like something moving, okay? So what we're, my goodness, my brain's going a thousand miles an hour. What we can do to fill in the dead space is add reverb. Let us find our piano, left click to send it to the reverb track. I'm gonna make it FL. Reverb too, I forgot we're doing FL stuff. Let's cut out the lows. I'm doing all the work for you. Don't worry about all this little in-between stuff. It's cutting out frequencies we don't want in the reverb. Okay, let's make this a little more active. The drums are a little dead because we're following the formulaic chord progression. So we need to make it more bouncy. So I'm going to go boom, boom, boom instead. It just makes the beat feel faster. We didn't even add the sub but yet. Take this off auto. Okay, let's change that guitar wah to this higher note. It's gonna move quicker here because this is all little tiny detail stuff that isn't mandatory. Okay, so now I'm just adding sounds to the reverb so they feel bigger and more cinematic, I guess is the word. So nice reverbs are usually the key for the sound. Okay, so the hi-hat is a little basic. So let's add some change-ups in here. What I'll do is I'll extend the hi-hats by just highlighting all these, hit control G to make it a quick pattern. I'm gonna get rid of the rest. And again, control B is a latch paste. Now you can double click to go inside. And now I'm just gonna show you little quick hi-hat tricks. We have free courses. Just go to premium.busyworksbeats.com. If I'm moving too fast, I have courses where I go through step-by-step -step show you all this stuff. What we're gonna do now is create dive hi-hats. So a little glitchy hi-hat. So let's add this in, this note right here. Let's hit Alt U and change the time multiplier right there. And then go down to where it says Control in the bottom left. If you don't see this, there's a, in, whew, I haven't spoken in like a week on these videos. There's a little ellipses at the bottom. Grab that, pull it up, go to your bottom left, go to Note, Fine, Tune, Pitch, and then right click and drag this so it trails downward. Okay, so we're just gonna add, a, you know, a little more vibrancy in our hi-hats with this technique. So think of it like two hi-hat, it's going on. Like two patterns. I'm just gonna copy this to save time. So now I'm just gonna add little stutter hi-hats here and there. One, two, one, two. See how it just, it just changes the whole perception of the beat.
those small little changes make the beat feel a little more upbeat. Okay, let's add a little in-between snare bounce. Let's make it. Let's add an open hi-hat in here just to fill it. Okay, so now we just need a top line melody. Again, I can sit here all day and make a top line melody. So I'm gonna go. Da -da. See how it went, da, da, da. that sounds very cartoony. So a way you can make this sound more cool and human is make the notes faster by changing your snap to grid to something smaller like one fourth as opposed to one half beat. Okay, so question now is what kind of bass do we add? Do we use a Reese bass or do we go 808? I would say, let me think. Hmm. Probably Reese Bass. Now, the question is which plugin in FL stock for Reese? FL doesn't have the greatest of greatest stock plugins. So I'm trying to think of something easy for you. Hmm. I think GMS might be the easiest one because they have that stereo widener. Um, let's use GMS. Let's go to programs. Sometimes it glitches on my Mac, so hopefully this thing will work. We're going to go to default. Okay, let's hit control L, send this to the mixer. And all we're going to do is copy our chord progression, which is here, I believe. Control C, let's go to a new pattern, right click, find first pattern. And paste it. <laughs> I'm running out of breath just thinking of all these little steps. So I'm going to get rid of all the extra notes in here for one, two, okay. Over here, we're gonna get rid of all these extra top notes and only leave those bottom notes. And then we're gonna delete them so that all we have left is just the bass. Now from here, we're gonna add this to the playlist. We're not gonna get too fancy with the bass. Okay, so that sounds whatever. Let's add a filter to it, low pass filter. Let's pull it down an octave. Let's add more voices right here. I'd probably say three or four or two is probably your best option. Then widen it out the stereo. But the cutoff is the real key to the sound and the resonance. Now this bass goes really, really low. So let's pull it up one octave just because we don't need it that low. That's only for the piano if we need it that low. And now I'm just going to add little things like mono and portamento just so you can have it. So now you can do stuff like that. If you don't do that, then it will, it overlaps and it sounds dark. So now it won't overlap. Still feel like it needs more voices. I feel like it's too safe of a bass. I want to kind of switch it up a little bit. So we're using the bass in this case as almost like a melody. It's telling the story in the bass. And again, you can add little flares like doo -doo -doo -doo. Now I'm going to go boom to switch it up. There we go. That sounds more like it. So 
I want it to end like we did before. I'm just going to copy this over. Shift. Now, this is a really low octave, so I'm pulling it back up. I don't think the piano changes at the end. That's why. Okay, so let me voice this to sound more. I'm going to pitch the high notes up higher and then keep them separated from the bass. I'll use more reverb as well. Let's widen out the reverb a little bit. Give it a little more tail. See now we're getting the vibe. It's the reverb and the bass. made your first pain beat and the kicks could you know small little things would be different like the hi-hats and the kicks like maybe space out the kick so it's not boom 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 but more so boom 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 let's do that a little more spread and the kick is overlapping the bass so i'm going to do something really simple it can get more complex, but I don't have all the tools, especially with the stock plugins. You don't have everything. So what I'm going to do is side chain the bass to the, the kick to the bass, and it will duck the bass. So it doesn't overlap as much. Now you can hear it, but it's not as clip. It doesn't clip. Okay, I'm, I move my three kicks over so it's boom, one, two, three. That makes more sense for this beat. Now, some plugins you want to look into, I would recommend looking into the Classic Clipper by T Rex. Um, it's just different than the Soft Clipper in FL Studio. If you don't have this plugin, um, this is not stock plugin, but you could load up the Fruity Soft Clipper. Where is it at? Free Soft Clipper. It's similar, but not the same. So the Soft Clipper is free. It comes with FL. Just turn your threshold up. What I'm doing with this is basically I'm turning the volume up going into the Soft Clipper. Let me turn off my um, analog for a second. So when you push this, it just adds an edge to the sound. A lot of people use it. It just adds a certain crunch to the sound. I'm going to use instead the classic clipper. I'm going to leave the um, EQ here for you. Just use that left band on the far left to turn it up into the soft clipper. So that's optional. I'll leave that there. It's T-Rex, the one that just sounds cleaner, in my opinion. Better, I should say. this to my analog stuff just to give it we really don't need the analog sound for this one so now you just want to level and go through and listen to every single sound and just get the levels right i'll probably turn up the bass a little bit more Clap, turn up the hi hat. Piano isn't very strong because the reverb. There, I'll kind of put it in the background like that. Also, the kick's a little heavy. Let's see how far we can push. Okay, we can push it until we feel it. I tune the hi 
had to match better with the tone of the piano. Now you have your first pain beat. Again, you will get the project files for free. Let's give this some color. If the hi-hats feel too on the grid, you can go to the wrench tool, turn up time shift just a little bit. Just add a little tiny groove in there. You can do the same thing with the kick and the snare. So happy beat making. Again, you will get the project files for free. Just go to busyworksbeats.com slash FL Studio. Thank you for watching. It's game from busyworksbeats.com. Peace.